very nice presentation. I have uh, two points. I think because you look especially uh, at fir first verse before the age of 18 or 20, uh, maybe there is some postponement uh, among women uh, in their mid-twenties who went for university education. And the other point is that your first slides ended up with the cohort born 1980. I would bet a bottle of wine that if you go for the cohorts born around 1990, 95, which might be just about possible now with, with the data, yeah. that you would see signs of postponement for these young women. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Although, um, if you take the median age, uh, or you take uh, cross-sectional measures, so all of these different measures of uh, measuring timing are consistent with the idea of stability, at least until now. I agree that now we are entering a new era <laughs> and that we are already seeing, and maybe this graph is also uh, shown, that for the higher educated, uh, we see some postponement. Okay? But among the women with secondary, there's even, they are having children even earlier. Um, there are some colleagues, I think Christoph Themen, that they are showing this bimodal distribution where there are two different groups and one group that is postponing and the other one that are having children earlier. The final result, still stability at, 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 the, at the macro level, at the population level. But, yeah, I don't know what to say. The number of women in tertiary education is expanding. Um, we need to know whether the rate will change or uh, or not. Let's see. Yes, thanks, thanks Albert. I, I wonder if you could comment on the argument that the women with no education or no levels of education stuck in in poor schools view motherhood or joint or getting into a union and getting a child as a way of attaining some kind of social status, and so it's actually attractive proposition relative to the alternative for those women. Yes, yes, yes. I think this is a more, I would say, anthropological explanation, but I think, uh, at least I have many colleagues in Colombia that tell me that it's really a way of entering uh, adulthood and be considered equal among mothers in, in Colombia, because, because mothers uh, have a very, a lot of power, because many times the, the, the husbands disappear, and they are in control of the house, and then there are several women in the same circumstances sharing a household with different children, and then as soon as their young daughters become mothers, they enter the club of these <laughs> well-respected women. No? They have at least uh, some... Uh, and I remember it in, in Mexico there was a guy who was talking about violence in, in Venezuela, the problem they have, and he proposed that the best way to fight a guy against this violent guy is to use the mothers. Because the mothers, they were the, the only who had something to say and say, maybe are the only ones that can convince these guys to stop doing bad things. No? One last question. Unfortunately, we, we cannot, uh, we don't have, it. we only know what's the level attained, but we don't know exactly when they left the school. But what we know is that it's, there are many women who are attending school and they are mothers. So we cannot assume that uh, motherhood always comes after uh, leaving the school. Uh, so it, it may, there are lots of interactions, and also the fact that they have very young mothers, the young mothers have young mothers, they can kind of uh, send the kids to their grandmas and they continue education. 